In this video, uh, we're going to take a look at this Gunson Color Tune Kit. Now, the purpose of this kit is to allow what's actually um, allow you to be able to see what's actually happening inside the combustion chamber, um, and more specifically, um, to be able to adjust the mixture um, to achieve the correct flame type. Um, or the flame colour. So that's that's what it allows you to see. So I purchased this kit from Mini Sport Australia. Um, I think it cost around about $89, $88, something like that. Um, but that was the same sort of price as it would cost to purchase it from overseas and then I need to add postage and then wait for it to come. So in Australia I think that's the best place to buy it from. Um, they actually import it from what looks like uh, Mini Spares which um, they probably get most of their products through them. All right, let's take a look at the kit. So that's the kit. Uh, it comes with, that's just a brochure explaining what other products um, Gunson sells. Uh, the other thing that comes with is a handbook, which um, explains how to use the product. Um, more specifically, what color flame represents like a lean or a rich mixture and what is like an ideal mixture. There was a graph somewhere, I'm just trying to find that. I don't know where that disappeared to. Uh, oh, here, here it is here in the box. So, according to the colour of the flame, um, of, if it's a weak light blue, uh, the mixture is too lean. It needs to sort of be a nice blue colour. Um, Bunsen blue, they call it. Uh, and then, if it's yellow, bright yellow, orange, it's burning way too rich. So it'd be interesting to see what um, it, my Mini runs at the moment. Uh, I've taken it for a quick run because um, you need to get the engine up to temperature. Um, and it's all to do with fuel economy. Um, one thing, because my Mini's on historic plates, so when it got the uh, registration inspection, it um, we had what we just call a ping slip in New South Wales, uh, and it doesn't have to undergo emissions testing. Whereas a normal car, um, which has been registered on normal number plates, uh, would need to have emission testing done. So for the for the purpose of this is just more to do with just getting the um, engine to run correctly. But it runs okay, but um, I, I believe it's running a bit rich. Anyway, so let's take a look at the kit. So inside the kit, this is the main actual thing that we need. So you take out one of the spark plugs and then you fit this in. So in effect, that is a spark plug but you'll notice that inside you can see a clear section. I'm not sure what they use in there. It's possibly just glass because uh, it, it looks very simple, but I'm guessing the manufacturing would be in, um, uh, take a lot of effort to produce these and design them. But, so yeah, it's a spark plug which you can see through in there. So that, uh, you take out one of the spark plugs, put this in place. Um, they suggest you use this tool to tighten it. You only need to hand tighten it. It doesn't have to be um, torqued up to the spec. Uh, so once it's in and tightened, you then screw this piece onto the end because the whole point, you don't want the ignition leads being in the way. So you screw that on and then your ignition lead sits on the end there. So I might get one of the um, little, I don't know what the technical name for it is but like a little nipple that screws on there that's normally on the end of the spark plug just so the lead makes a good contact um, and then when that's in the engine you have to clearly see what the color is now they provide this um, device as well it's like a mirror so if for, for whatever example these aren't specifically for minis they're for any car uh, I'll just try and just get that right I believe you do you use it somehow like that. Uh, I don't think you'd use the, the mirror. Okay, maybe you do yet. So you, if you're in a car which you cannot see the... Um, you don't have a good view of the actual spark plug because of their positions, like maybe in a V6 or something, uh, this might be useful to use to be able to see uh, the colour in the spark plug if you don't... Um, have visibility of it. So that's what that's for, but I don't, won't be needing to use that. Uh, the other thing that comes in the kit is a little brush, which I believe is just to like clean in here, actually probably to clean this side, um, just to remove any carbon 
that might build up. Okay, so let's um, give it a test and just see how it fits in. Alright, so before we get started and use the kit, um, I'll just explain with a carburetor uh, what actually gets adjusted. So, uh, let me just get this right. So that's where the air filter goes on to. So in the engine, uh, all right, so this is what actually gets adjusted. So whenever I rebuild a carburetor, I set this, the, the jet height, or this main screw here to the default, which I believe was two and a half turns, something like that. So what actually happens is, I'll just lift the piston up, um, and then I'll just explain a few basic operations. So the first one is the choke. When you pull the choke, what that actually does, it moves the jet down. When the jet moves down, obviously fuel, the needle moves, um, the seat of it moves down to allow obviously more fuel to get in, so a, a richer mixture. Um, and then obviously when you accelerate, you're just letting more air into the mixture. So when you accelerate, um, the height of the jet doesn't change, if that makes sense. So the height only changes when you're maneuvering the choke to move the whole jet up or down. Um, but to adjust the mixture, so for instance, when it's idling, whenever you let more air in, I'm not gonna explain the basics of how this, the suction works, but you let more air in, um, the pressure difference causes the piston to rise. And then when the piston rises, the needle goes up with the piston. And then that um, allows more fuel to come out of that jet. So when the carburetor is, assume it's just idling, if we were to, now I've got these little spanners because I do believe that's what they are there for. Okay, so must just be this bottom one because what, what you want to do is adjust the height of the jet while it's, for example, even when it's idling, um, and then that will adjust the mixture, make it richer or leaner, because you're changing the, um, the height of the actual jet. So when you wind it in, let me get this into the right direction. So when I turn that, if you're looking at it from the top, uh, that would be anti-clockwise, and then that would make the jet move up, and therefore it's making the the mixture leaner. And then if you turn it clockwise, you're making the mixture richer. So the, so the first thing I'll do is actually set it up and then take a look and see what the color is when it's idling and when it's um, uh, revving up to about 2,000 to 3,000. All right, so the first thing I need to do I'm going to take off the air filters um, just because that gives me a bit more room underneath to get to those um, adjusting us. Okay, so with those air filters removed, there's enough room, you can put the spanner on the, the main nut on the jet and you can easily adjust that. Okay, so um, I don't really know if it matters which side to do first, but I'm going to do uh, the right hand side of the engine first just to adjust the um, the right side carb um, and then so we'll test how it burns on this side and then adjust it and then see how it burns on the left hand side so the first thing I need to do is take out the spark plug
I'll just inspect that um, and have a look at it. It's a little bit orange on the tip. It's not oily. I believe that seems okay. Right, so I'm going to take that little piece off the bottom of this one. Okay, I've just zoomed out a bit so you can see the better. So when you fit um, the actual clear spark plug, um, this ring goes on first and then that helps it seal. Um, there's a bit of oil in there because like every mini, it always leaks underneath that um, cork gasket. Okay, so I'll insert that. And these kits, um, this is a 14mm kit, so they do come in different sizes depending on what car you want to use it for. But um, minis are all 14mm. That's like not super tight, I'm just doing that to make sure it gets a good seal on it. Alright, so you remove that piece. Then insert this rod. And then that little um, nipple I took off the spark plug, that's going to go on top. And then the ignition lead will go on top of that and that's making a nice connection okay so all I need to do now is start it up and then have a look at the color Okay, so as you saw in that demo, it's blue on, a, on idle and then also when you bring the revs up, it's nice and blue as well. So I would say the default for that one seems right. I mean, like to an expert, you could probably adjust it to, there's a bit of yellow here and there. Maybe it needs to be um, backed off a bit, but I think that's fine. Uh, we're going to set up and try the upper side of the engine now. Alright, so on the left hand side, I needed to adjust that one a bit to get a, a blue flame the same as this one. So it's only like maybe half a turn it had to go um, to be adjusted by, to make it a little bit more leaner because it was burning a bit rich. Alright, I'm just going to let that cool for a minute and then I'm going to undo all this. But um, I'll leave it there. Hopefully, you are actually able to see the colour of the flame in this. Um, I'll leave it there and thanks for watching my videos.